Hi, I'm Barbara Lutz, and I'm with the University of North Carolina in Wilmington, and I'm here representing the American Nurses Foundation and their funding awards. And the mission of the American Nurses Foundation is to transform the nation's health through the power of nursing. And uh, ANF has been funding research grants since 1955, and they've funded more than 1,000 um, grants uh, uh, with about $5 million worth of funding. Each year they fund about 25 scholars, and the grants range from 5,000 to, um, the slide says 30,000, but I was just cribbing for this, and I found one that was 35000 So they, they have some really nice awards, and these are great awards, uh, especially for new investigators or investigators who want to collect some pilot data um, because they, they have, you know, you can do a small grant and get some pilot data. The priorities for funding uh, this year are uh, grant-defined fields of studies, interprofessional collaboration, population health, nurses' health, infusion, and clinical-based research. So the eligibility requirements um, are that the PI must be either, uh, must be a registered nurse and have a baccalaureate degree or higher. Um, and they fund across the board, beginning all the way through to experienced nurse researchers, which is really nice. Some grants do have specifications, like beginning only or experienced only, but um, so you can look at their website and see what the different requirements are. Um, master's thesis, the DNP scholarly project or dissertation research are considered, but only if the project has been approved by the, the, the committee um, and is allowed by the grant description. There is a fee to apply, it's $100, but you can apply for multiple awards with the one fee, and you, you have to be a member of ANA um, and also a current member of SNRS when you apply. And I just wanted to, to give you, uh, we don't have a slide on this, but the range, the, the scope of the topics funded or types of award funded, some are very open in general, but then some are specific um, to particular areas of practice like psych mental health or neonatal, um, perioperative, women's health, school nursing. Uh, so there's a great range, and so I would really encourage you to go to the website and look at the list. It's three pages long of the different kinds of awards they fund. So these are due pretty soon, and um, so I would encourage you, if you're interested in this award, the applications are due May 1st, and when you go to the givetonursing.org website, you'll see all the instructions. The, these are one-year awards, and the awards start um, in September and go for, for 12 months. Um, you have to have IRB uh, approval before the release of the funds, and there's a, re, a multiple tiered review process uh, for these awards that get funded, and you get comments on, on your application. So if you don't get funded, you'll get comments from the reviewers, and you can resubmit them the next year if you're interested. So typical, uh, similar to the other um, awards that we've seen, these are, these are uh, reviewed based on significance, approach and methodology, innovation, strength of the team, the investigator and the team, the research environment, the plan for dissemination, and future steps, and then the budget. And I'm a reviewer for ANF, and I'm a round one reviewer. So there are two rounds of reviews. And in the first round, um, we score these, and then they go to a second round. And we usually do the reviews in like June. I think they're usually due about the 1st of July, and then they go to the second round. So I want to make note of one particular award that is available, and this is the one that is actually 35000 And the goal of this um, award is to uh, improve quality of care in clinical settings, and it's really focused on um, an academic clinical or practice partnership award. Um, and there are apparently a few others that are also uh, in, the, in the portfolio that uh, support this research that's being done at the, within the hospitals. But they, what they really want to see at ANF is that you're partnering with um, a researcher. So these are clinically driven awards, and they're really focusing more on the magnet um, 
hospitals or those hospitals that are trying to become magnets. So take if you're interested in that and have studies that you think would help in that progress, take a look at this award. Stryker has helped support this award, and so it's a, a very nice uh, funding opportunity. And these are just, uh, these are three of our um, award winners from this past year. Uh, who from SNRS who received f funding from ANF so I think it's I had two I was fortunate enough when I was at the University of Florida to have two PhD students who received ANF funding and it's a it's um, it's a great opportunity both for your students and and for us as investigators um, like I said to get some pilot work done so I really encourage you to take a look at the website and apply for these awards thank you